pretty. This video was filmed back in July of last year. Oh my gosh, this is my anime opener. This was right after my quarantine and self-management period. Beautiful. My mom wanted to City take me out to get some fresh beauty. air. This path that really you're pretty seeing pretty right now kind of takes us through um, wetlands protection area. If you can see all the red stuff by the crabs. Fish jumps. Whoa, 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 where are you going, bro? Can you hear the cicadas? Is that what they're called? <laughs> At first, when my mom said she wanted to walk, I was really dreading it. But actually coming down here right around when the sun is setting is so pretty. So right here is the metro that rail that runs above. So this path is shared by bikes and pedestrians. So she took me down from Hongshu Ling to Danshu, which is one metro station apart. And Hongshu Ling literally just means mangrove. If you come here like an hour before sunset, you can enjoy like the sun slowly dropping as you make your way towards Danshui. Forest Back in July, like COVID was kind of under control. There weren't that many new cases, so you won't see people wearing masks since it's outdoors. So that's just a sign saying that it's a um, historic site, originally a trading post for England. Look at these lamp posts. Originally, back when I filmed this, the merchant house was closed. I did go back a few weeks ago. I got to see the inside. There are different warehouses and they were showing pottery. It's been a trend to just kind of renovate places instead of tearing them down and turning them into like an exhibition space. At first, I was worried that like it's not really sustainable for the purpose of the building long term uh, in case people don't visit it. But I didn't need to worry because this is actually a part of the Danshui Community College. And it has been for 20 years. If this is an anime, I don't know what is. It's so pretty. All the colors in the sky. Oh, the mountains. The water. The boat. But it was, it was a really beautiful day that day. You can see a lot of people out here. Completely turned pink. I'm not drunk, I promise. Dansui, trying to get like a context for you guys. Dansui is kind of like that place that if you grew up in Taipei, there's no way you've never been. Like your elementary school would have definitely taken you here for a field trip. You definitely would have came with your parents and they've taken you to all the like play all the games like shooting balloons with arrows and stuff, um tossing ring toss. So along the entire path, you'll see a lot of different singers, performers, and like artists. There are a lot of people who do portraits. And so this guy that I'm filming right now, he does, I think, sand art. I'm not really sure, but it washes away. Um, and he's like pretty flashy about it, which is great. Like he's a great mood maker. He'll draw someone and then point the person out in the audience and invite them to go take a picture with it. A lot of people are shy, but he makes, he like, I, he's just kind of like that person's like, just come, have fun. Look at everybody, they're admiring you. Thanks everybody. Sunset update. Even after the sunset, there are still a lot of people around Danshui, like getting dinner um, and just enjoying that coastal breeze. Ooh, this car's coming in fast. Nighttime. Uh, we're at Chensui Wan, which literally means shallow water bay. 
is very hot, but it's a nice day, and we're gonna see the beach very soon. So at the shallow water bay, there are a lot of themed cafes. Um, so this one that we're visiting is Haiyang Senghu Shi, which literally translates to deep breath in the ocean. Um, you can see it has like a Mediterranean theme and kind of just based on the decor and the feeling of it. I think for a lot of people who aren't able to travel this year, like these themed cafes kind of make them feel like at least they got to do some things. I got this really pretty and kind of useless drink. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it, it just tasted like water with like slight lemon in it. It's butterfly pea with lemonade. And we got this two-tiered afternoon tea with fruit and then three different cakes on the bottom. There was an apple pie, chocolate cake, and a cheesecake. So if I'm nodding my head, it just means like, yeah, it's susceptible. Um, I felt like the apple pie could have gone in for, like, into the oven for another toasting. It didn't seem quite golden brown to me. Uh, and then the chocolate cake, there was there was a layer of like cake in there that was a little too dried, but the ganache on top kind of made up for it. And the last part, the cheesecake, I think it was like one of those Basque cheesecakes where it's like burnt on top. That was good. I like my cakes with more moisture rather than something that's dried. Which is why I don't like those like Japanese cheesecakes. Those are a little too dry for me. So right behind the restaurant, it leads directly to this boardwalk that takes you to the waters, the ocean. The sand was so hot that day. It like kind of reminded me of like ginger bongs when you walk into like the really hot room and then the salt and the coal, the, the clay, like that kind of burning on my feet. I usually never use the sun umbrellas, but it's really, it's scorching. It's really hot. Oh my gosh, but it's so pretty. I want to see if I can go to the water. I'm wearing jeans though. I didn't prepare for this. So hot. I think it's because the sand was so hot that nobody wanted to walk out there. But the water was really nice. Usually at like touristy places, you'll see a lot of trash like boba cups and stuff. But you can see how clear the water is uh, when you're really close to it. Shoes are done for. They're done for. They have holes. They're done for. And my shoes were completely ruined after the beach, and I got this pair of flip flops. I fell asleep for most of the way here because the mountain roads were way too windy, and I was feeling really car sick. I usually don't get car sick, but I think it's because I'm not used to it, so um, I was really dizzy. But we're at. Uh, I don't know where we're at. I'm gonna wait for them to finish parking. Um, my mom ended up telling me that we were really close to Meijin Julebu, which translates to um, American <laughs> military. Wait, give me a moment. Let me think about this. I was about to puke on my way up here. But we're at Yamungsan and we're looking to grab dinner. Yeah. Oh. 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 From what I understand, this area was kind of where a lot of American officers, military forces stayed when they were in Taiwan back in, I think, early or late 50s history. Um, and this 
the room that you're seeing right now apparently is to be like a club where kids of American officers would hang out. And at some point, it changed into a country club, and then it got handed over to um, a university, and then went into disuse, and eventually became this restaurant that you see today, after restoration, of course. And the new concept of it is a place for like American culture, especially the music culture of records, like those flat black disc. Gosh, my English today. Um, in this room on the side, you can kind of see the history of the renovation and the cultural significance of this place. The food there was actually pretty good. It's not just for sights. It's one of those places where the food is good and the ambience is great. And if you have kids, they will love it. I love decaying walls. It's really cool to look at what kind of materials it used to be. Well, it doesn't seem like a lot of love has been shown to this place yet. I used to work at a scene shop for a theater and we would take these stairs up to like maybe level three, level four, I don't know, but it was high up. Every time I came down, it was so trippy. I always felt like I was gonna miss a step and fall. I'm gonna bring my niece and nephews here someday. I'll have so much fun. We're closing up on this video. Thanks for watching and I think I'm done with my July vlogs.